I started as a salesman, Mr. Beale. I sold sewing machines and automobile parts, hair brushes and electronic equipment. They say I can sell anything. I'd like to try to sell something to you. Valhalla, Mr. Beale, please have a seat. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Beale, and I won't have it, is that clear? You think you have merely stopped a business deal. That is not the case. The Arabs have taken billions of dollars out of this country, and now they must put it back. It is ebb and flow, tidal gravity. It is ecological balance. You're an old man who thinks in terms of nations and peoples. There are no nations. There are no peoples. There are no Russians. There are no Arabs. There are no third worlds. There is no West. There is only one holistic system of systems. One vast and immense, interwoven, interacting, multivariate, multinational dominion of dollars. Petrodollars, electrodollars, multi-dollars, Reichmarks, rubles, yen, pounds, and shekels. It is the international system of currency that determines the totality of life on this planet. And you, Mr. Beale, have meddled with the primal forces of nature, and you will atone! Am I getting through to you, Mr. Beale? You get up there on your 21 inch screen and howl about America and democracy. There is no America. There is no democracy. There is only IBM, ITT, AT&T, DuPont, Dow, Union Carbide and Exxon. Those are the nations of the world today. What do you think the Russians talk about in their councils of state? Karl Marx. They pull out their linear programming charts, statistical decision theories, and minimax solutions, and compute the price, cost, probabilities of their transactions and investments just like we do. We no longer live in a world of nations and ideologies, Mr. Beale. The world is a college of corporations, inexorably determined by the immutable bylaws of business. The world is a business, Mr. Beale. It has been since man crawled out of the slime. And our children will live to see that perfect world in which there is no war and no famine, no oppression and brutality. One vast and ecumenical holding company for whom all men will hold a share of stock and work to serve a common profit. All necessities provided all anxieties tranquilized, all boredom amused. And I have chosen you to preach this evangel, Mr. Beale. Why me? Because you're on television, dummy. 60 million people watch you every night of the week, Monday through Friday. <laughs> oh man, Marty, that rocked for me. 
I lost uh, my, vo my voice was that, going out that there. Was, that was, for me, <laughs> one of the favorite things I've seen you do. Wow, thank you. That was, it was like, you found things. I, I was like, oh yeah. Like, it's literally, he's having an orgasm practically in it, you know? <laughs> It's like, and, and I mean, I, I, you found that sinister and you found the preacher. And then I was, I took the note, uh, humor giggle. And then you found it when you were talking about marks, yeah. you know, you found that piece of it in there too. Then you found that, that orgasmic quality, like he's getting off on this whole thing <laughs> and, and, and you and you went for it 200%. That's what sells it. That's yeah. why it was sold. That's why you sold it for me, is um, is is because you know we. I just for me, I love. I loved that version. I really did, and I felt like your commitment to it and a willingness to just go out on a limb and and really take a risk with it. Like I yeah. saw you taking risks and not playing yeah. it safe. 